Okay. So uh, now it's espere, prefere, and repete. Zainab, if you have done, uh, do it as a revision. Like I am sure that uh, you are not like uh, very confident, right? Yes, Miss. Correct. I'll do it again. Yeah. So here you have. Uh, uh, so what we did so far is like we learned ER verbs. And then we did the exceptional verb GER and CER. Uh, let's discuss number six and move to this. Tu voyage seul is you travel a lot. Tu voyage seul is you travel a lot. Then nous changeons, we change, nous changeons l'hôtel de main. We change. Hotel tomorrow. Nous changeons d'hôtel demain. Il mange au restaurant. They eat at restaurant. Il mange au restaurant means they eat at restaurant. Nous commençons. Commençons means a start. Uh, this should be the city. Nous commençons la visit. We start the visit. Je corrige. I correct your error. We correct an error. Vous placez. You place les spectateurs. You place the spectators. Vous placez les spectateurs. Okay. Okay. Uh, before going to that, I'll be giving you uh, around five, six sentences to be translated. Um, write down the first one. I eat at the restaurant. I eat at the restaurant. Number two. Number two. Uh, I watch the television. Number three is um, I telephone to mark you cry you cry i arrive i arrive to the Railway station. I arrived to the railway station. Can you uh, translate them? Did you miss anything? In this verb, you have uh, an accent. Here, the accent is changing. So, this accent, the side of the accent changes here. That is what the particularity about this. Here, you see in uh, je, tu, il, el, on. 
but in nu and vu it doesn't change here also it is changing write down the verb espere olin je ti u il est long vu uh, sorry il est plural it's changing Have you completed writing down this? It's miss. Yeah. Now you are coming to prefer. Prefer is to prefer. It's again the same format. Here in the, the in this verb you have two accents. So when you are changing, you are cha you are changing the second accent, not the first one. The first ac accent remains same all the time. Yeah, I have forgot to change accent. In nu and vu, uh, the side doesn't change, so I'm not going to color it. Je prefer, tu prefer, il est long prefer, nous préférons, vous préférez, il est préfère. Si c'est un verbe conjugué au présent, si nécessaire, transformer je en je apostrophe. So you have three verbs. Here, when you're doing it, you have to pay a little bit your attention on the meaning of the sentence. Otherwise, you, you can't like identify where you are going to put the verb. Du préféré, use the conjugation of préféré, espérer and répéter and fill in the blanks. Okay. Chazizé un verbe et conjugué au présent, c'est ok. Pour l'arti rendez-vous. It's for, for the time of meeting. Pour l'arti rendez-vous. Uh, vous préférez le matin ou l'après-midi? You prefer the morning or the afternoon? So what is the verb you selected there? <laughs> Je préfère. On fang de matinee. I prefer the end of the morning, fan de matinee. On demand Madame Moulin au téléphone. We ask Mrs. Moulin in telephone. Um, sure, what is the verb you are taken there? Because you have the same sentence again on the moon, Madame Moulang on telephone. Repeat, right? Repeat. Hmm. Je répète. The side of the accent is very important, no? I ask for Mrs. Moulin on the telephone. I repeat. I ask Mrs. Moulin on telephone. No, he'll va venir. No,
Esper. Esperon. Esperon. We, we hope that he will, he is going to come. Nous espérons qu'il va venir, moi aussi. Je. So you have to, the question says, when it's required, you need to cut E and put the apostrophe. Chespère. Chespère. Tu le printemps ou l'été? What you uh, put there? Tu prefer, right? You prefer spring or the summer? Moi, je prefer I prefer winter il qu'il va faire beau pour le il espérant espère il espère that he is going to be beautiful in for the uh, in the marriage. You missed anything here? Okay, we are moving to the next part. The verb achete. This is easy. Uh, can you like uh, fill in the fill in, fill these blanks with the verb, conjugations of verb achete? Do it. It should be Shashet to Ashet, your little Ashet. No Asheton, Bu Ashete, your little Ashet. Okay. So, um, Okay, now tell me, uh, there's a question below. A quel person, to which persons, le, e, e, the letter E, the infinitive, achete devient E accent. So what is the, what are the like assumptions you met, like you saw there? What are the assumptions? What's happening? You all have to speak in the class, huh? All the time remains like so kind of. If like in, a, yes, go ahead. I didn't get it. It's like once you complete this, did you find out something? So what's happening to like this is about the accent so in the infinitive verb do you have an accent no no but when you're doing the conjugation you are putting accents in some places and in some places you are not putting accents so what you like so okay and Varsha. Yes. Did you like, uh, you have any assumptions like uh, once you conjugate the verb in terms of the accent? What's happening here is with the original verb, it doesn't have a verb, any accents in the word. Uh, that achete, achete is to buy, this is the word, achete, to buy. When you are conjugating, 
you are putting an accent accent okay with j t u l long and l plural for no and who you don't have any accent you agree with me yes yes huh? so let's write down the akhil person with which persons e of the infinitive ashate becoming e accent so what you are going to write down here je to you so ill along everything is coming for the second one il l ong and then il and l plural you understood this or not understood right yes sir okay now we are moving to the question section it is very easy you need to fill in the blanks with the ashate conjugations do it quickly always once you complete it raise your hand on the meanings keska bu ashate pur noya keska the entire phrase keska gives the idea what keska what you buy for christmas noel is christmas what you buy for christmas keska bu ashate pur noel second one no ashato de livre pur marta you buy sorry not you we buy the books for martin we buy the books for martin then shashet and stilo pour fond pair i buy a pen for my father i buy a pen for my father shashet and stilo pour mon pair then you have avec mark on achet une bonne dessinée pour flair avec means with with mark we buy yun bon desine yun bon desine kina kina car you call them cartoons cartoon book for lea bon desine bon desine et toi and you qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce is what tu achètes achètes et toi and you what you buy Riang, Riang means nothing. Riang, nothing. And then you are coming to verb apple again. You have the infinitive verb here. You are supposed to fill uh, fill in the blanks with the conjugations and note what is the uh, the difference of this verb. What is the particularity of this verb? Do it. Okay, it, it it should be chapel. So you see, uh, when you're writing chapel, the in the the main verb you have only one l. Here it is becoming double l. T u apple. Here also double l. L long apple. Double l. And when it is coming to no, it is only one l. Use apelon. Use apele one l. And again for ill and l plural, it is becoming double l. Ill l lapel. Okay. So the question is asking, a quel person le le l? The infinitive appeal a remplace par double. So, where what are the occasions? It's in, again uh, it's similar to the earlier one. It should be je, tu, il elang, and il el plural. Any questions from this?
Thomas. All right, right? Yeah. Now we are moving to the activity part. So can you quickly uh, fill in the blanks with the, uh, the conjugations of Apele? Always raise your hand once you will complete. Menteno. Menteno means now. Voici le gagnant de notre jeu. Menteno means now. Voici is here. The le gagnant means the winner. The notre jeu of our game. Here, now. Here, the winner of our game. Nous appelons Monsieur Dufresne. Sorry. We call Mr. Dufresne. Quel numero vous appelez? Which number you are calling? Numero is the number. Which number you are calling? C'est en France. It's in France. C'est en France. It's in France. We chapelle à Nice. Yes, I call to Nice. Nice is a city in France. We chapelle à Nice. Yes, I call to Nice. On Apple, Madame Piron or telephone. We call Mrs. Piron in, in on telephone. Je suis Julien. I'm Julien. Mes amis m'appellent Juju. My friends call me Juju. Tu appelles ta fille tous les jours? You call your daughter or every day tous les jours. The entire phrase tous les jours gives the idea. Uh, every day. You call your daughter every day? Okay, let's move to the next one. You have verb Ali. Actually, this verb is not uh, belong to ER group, but still it's ending with ER. We are learning it here. Uh, I'll give you the conjugation. Cheve. Tiwa. Write down. Ilelongva. Nous allons, vous allez, il elle va. Try down it. Je vais, tu vas, il est long, va. Nous allons, vous allez, il est va. Okay. Now go to the question number 10. Uh, you need to underline the correct verb there and complete uh, the blanks in question number 11 with a conjugation. So you have on va a l'hôpital. We go to the, I love the verb, meaning of verb ale is to go, huh? to go. On va à l'hôpital is we go to the hospital. Tu vas chez la, la dentiste. Chez la dentiste is where she, uh, dentist is there. Dentist's place. We, uh, sorry, you go to the dentist's place. Je vais au laboratoire. I go to the lab, laboratory. Il va chez le médecin. She, he goes to the media, media, the doctor's place. Le médecin is the doctor. When you say she, if you, you are like uh, taking and taking the word she, it gives like when I say she Tamaru, it's Tamaru's home. I'm talking about Shama, Tamaru's place where he lives. Vous allez chez un spécialist. We, uh, sorry, you go to the specialist's place. Il vont à la pharmacie. Uh, they go to the pharmacy. Nous allons chez le radiologue. We go to the radiologue's place. Elle va chez l'optician. 
he she goes to the optician's place then you have complete avec le verbe aller au prison then vous restez chez vous à noël you stay vous restez you stay in your place for christmas no on va avec nos amis no we go with our friends à la montagne la montagne means the hillside the mountain area et après nous nous allons to chez mon frère à Lyon. And after we go to, T-O-U-S-2 is all, chez mon frère, my brother's place in Lyon. Lyon is a city in France. Vous allez souvent à la montagne, you go often to the, uh, the hillside, the mountain, to les hivers all the winters on va faire du ski we go to do skating et tu vas souvent chez ton frère and you go often souvent is so you be and souvent is often to your brother's place moi je vais à lyon you know the fois par an me i go to the lyon one or two times if why yes why is times one or two times but yeah mais les enfants but the children vont you are into vont chez leur cousin pendant les vacances en général but the children go that cousin's place during the vacation in general okay that is verb Ali. Mm. Okay, the other part I'm not going to start today. Uh, let's do some worksheets. Uh, do you have any questions from this? No. Yes, I sent you a worksheet and Tamaru and Varusha are like, do I have done, uh, done uh, ER work earlier? It's like ER work, do you have any idea? Yes. 